Hey guys, and you're welcome to Check My Guns. My name is Carl, and this video is gonna be about the VZ61. But it's not gonna be the normal style of the video about the history and stuff. This video is gonna be about transformation of this VZ61 to this. So let's check it out. And I know what you're guys thinking, like, Carl, how can you do that? How can you booba this legendary VZ61 Scorpion with some sort of conversions? There, the gun is perfect itself, and you're right, it definitely is. But let me explain why I think that it's interesting, at least interesting. Come on, think about it. It gets actually even worse because this VZ61 Scorpion is personally signed by the Ian McCollum, the Lord and Savior gun Jesus. It's a real heresy to do that, but it doesn't destroy the gun. It's fully reversible. And I think that it's amazing how people are still trying to uh, you know, add something more into these old guns and if you're not destroying the gun with it and you're just, in, just you know, use your imagination how it could be if... I, I really like that. And some people are unstoppable and can do amazing stuff with uh, 3D printing parts. So yeah, I'll give it a try and we will see how it comes. So here it is. This is my VZ. 61 Scorpion. This is actually semi-automatic version, so inside it's a bit gutted. You cannot really use the full auto regime. But the cool thing is that I <laughs> got that sign signature here from our savior and lord Gun Jesus Ian McCollum. And yeah, I don't really think he would like this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'll pray for forgiveness, my lord. Let's put this aside and look at the conversion. So this is the box, how I got it, pretty plain box. And actually how I got it was that I was contacted by the guy who makes these. This is all 3D printed and there are basically only four parts that you need to do the conversion of the VZ61. So I was contacted by, by the owner of this company, which is called, we can see it over here the fuse weapon systems that's on the top rail and this conversion is called sa61 defender mark ii this is ongoing project still going through the development so i bet this is not the final stage yet and of course read the manual before use i read the manual got the manual didn't get it in the box had to download it online which is not a big deal of course these days to assemble all this you just need three different Allen key, Allen keys uh, or this Allen key bits. So I'll use these and we can go for the assembly. So first of all, what you need to do is take off the legendary scorpion stock. I'll remove the magazine also just to make it more handy. So how do you do that? There is this pin on the top which you need to push down and then once it's pushed you can slide the stock off towards you just like that which is amazing I love it so now you have your gun like this pretty damn naked so first of all you add the folding stock here's the button how you can fold it we will look at that in a moment so now I'll just slide it from the side and there it is. So now it needs to be fixed by screw in here. I need to mention that all the screws that are going to be used here are actually not screwing into the 3D printed plastic, but there's always a metal counterpart of the screw. But yeah, beware, it's 3D printed. You don't really want to over tighten it 
because something can go wrong. So this screw is actually just to secure it in a place, just like the original pin. So let's screw that there. So here I have all the screws that are needed. I already took out the long one. So let's put it there and just gently screw it in. Yeah, as I said, being gentle, it's not holding there anything, it's just preventing it from sliding it off the main rail. And the other thing we do is that we put on this part over the barrel with this side facing up. And in order to do that, we need to unscrew these side screws just a bit to make a bit more space because this is going over the, the barrel ring. Maybe you notice there is a ring around the barrel. That was the way how you could attach the, the silencer on Scorpion. So this needs to go over that ring and therefore it needs to be loosened enough. There we go. Now we need to tighten it back. Okay, so what's the next stage? Now, now we are ready to place on the top rail. So the iron sights, actually the original iron sights, are gonna be hidden in these cutouts inside. And you see that here in the front, us here inside there is a place for this so we place it on the top like that so you place it on the top and push it into the rear you hear here you see the there is a there's a space for the pin to push through and there we go so here comes a pin and there is a screw from the top which secures this together. So let's put the pin there and also the screw. Here's the pin which comes essential for disassembly and cleaning of the gun. We will look at that in a moment. But for now, we'll just push it from the left side to the right. There we go. Here it is. So let's screw that in. All right, we're almost there. So the last thing is the fore end. So we just slide that over the... So this top actually locks into the top of the conversion and here we still need to put two more screws on the side. Look at that. <laughs> I forgot one more screw. And that actually goes here in the back. In this hole. So now these last two. Alright, so that's about it. If I put back the magazine, this is this is the whole conversion <laughs> from fuse weapon systems for VZ61 Scorpion. I think I must say that these all these rails on the top and on the sides, they are Picatinny 1913 rails. So pretty standard, you can attach basically anything there. Let's put it on safe. <laughs> Uh, there's this cutout in between which gives you a possibility of the, if I fold it, of somehow backup sites like this. If you can really use that, they are of course non-adjustable, but yeah, better than nothing I guess. By the way, the folding stock just holds as it is. There's no locking mechanism, it's freely moving, but yeah. And if you want to attach, for example, I was thinking that I'll put this aim point on the top of that. I can do that. There is a spur, spur mount 
and I put it here and lock it, I actually <laughs> was unpleasantly surprised. Look at that. The spur mount is actually fixing, fixing it in the middle. You see here in the back and the front, these are the fixing points. And once there is nothing in the middle, it's freaking moving <laughs> forward and backward. So really think about what sort of what sort of um, accessories you want to attach to this rail. Of course, as I said, this is still in development. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to make uh, another versions with full rails on top because you can definitely attach to the side. There was no, no issue with that, but yeah. <laughs> I got an idea for the shooting range. Well, let's see the later, but I have another red dot here. This kind of piece of equipment. Red dot, but can be still used. And that actually works pretty fine with the rail. There we go. So mini red dot on a scorpion without drilling holes in it or anything. And it can, it's pretty usable. Still ejection port is on the top. There's enough space for that. And we can use that. So before we come to a conclusion, let's think about what you're gonna do if you take it to the shooting range and then you need to clean it. Of course, you don't wanna take it apart all. So what you do is you actually push this pin through. I'll use this to do it. Yeah, take it out, it's not captive. And then of course you follow the standard disassembly for VZ61 Scorpion, so you push the forward pin and then the whole thing actually can be lifted off like this. So you can do all the cleaning, you can take out the bolt and everything, there's not a problem. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. The question is, does it hold zero when you put it back? Well, we need to figure that out. And I'm definitely taking this they taking the Scorpion and the conversion to the shooting range to test all these little things that are actually essential for buying stuff like that. So yeah, that's gonna be another separate video shooting with it because that's how you figure out if it's really good thing to buy or not. But for now, I can, I can make a little conclusion. And that conclusion would be, what problem does it solve? If you really cannot sleep because you cannot put a red dot on your scorpion, you want to put a front grip there, uh, light, whatever, this solves your problem. We all know that the original, original uh, stock of the VZ61 scorpion was pretty short, wasn't very comfortable. This one is not a full stock. Again, it's folding stock. It gives you a bit better position while shooting, but we'll figure that out at the shooting range. Overall, the, the quality of the build seems reasonable. I, I quite like it and I'm really curious how it's gonna, how it's gonna work on the shooting range. So that's gonna be the next video. Keep tuned, we will see, we'll see each other there. So in the meanwhile, if you like the video, press like and subscribe and also follow my other accounts for more content like this and we will see each other next time. Bye. Feeling like a kid again. Kids don't play with guns. Never. For safety Nazis, it's unloaded. No worries. <laughs>